All right. Hi, HEC Desire users. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a little video of how to properly calibrate your um, G Sensor calibration on your phone. Okay. Um, it says, please place the phone on a level surface. Um, you may think, oh, this is a pointless video because anyone can calibrate a phone. Um, well, you're wrong because a lot of people have um, been having problems with the calibration messing up and they've said that it's a faulty device um, which was sold to them. This happened to me as well. My calibration did not work and I thought they sold me a faulty device. However, I realized the calibration was wrong. The instructions aren't clear. It says, please place the phone on a level surface. A level surface could mean placing the phone like that on its side, placing the phone like that, phone like that, okay? You don't know which is the correct way, um, and the instructions aren't clear. So, um, I'm going to show you the way to calibrate it properly and incorrectly, and um, this function, this, um, this calibration, can mess up the auto-rotate auto function um, where you've turned auto-rotate on and whenever you rotate like that it does not turn and rotate um, this is because the calibration has been done wrong so if I go into the settings, I'm going to show you the first how to calibrate it wrongly, how, how people do it see if you focus, okay, go to settings, go into settings, okay go into display all right, can you see that the auto rotate screen is ticked? Okay, keep that ticked. If you want it, if you want the auto rotate function on, okay. If you go to, okay, my camera's going a bit fuzzy. G sensor calibration. All right, and it says please place your phone um, on a level surface. So if you place it like this, can you see how I've how I've done it? Placed on a level surface like that. I'm going to show you actually. Let's see if my camera stays still. All right, it's on a level surface. Let me see if I can focus it. Okay, if I press, I'm going to press the calibrate button, and it's on its face like that, on its side, okay. Okay, I press the calibrate button. It says, okay, it's gone a bit funny. Okay, I aborted the calibration, hold on. Do it again. Okay, it says calibration complete, calibration complete. It may say calibration complete, however, auto-rotate function will not work because, or properly, because the calibration has been done wrong. Now, Keeping that auto rotate function on. If you go into Internet Explorer, for example, so Internet Explorer, Facebook, okay, I'm on Facebook, okay, it does not auto rotate by itself, okay, as you can see it does not auto rotate. This is because the auto rotate, okay, the calibration has been done wrong. Um, let me go give you another example, okay, if I go into messages, let's go to messages, whoops, wrong button, um, if I go into messages, okay, if I go tap to compose, it does not turn sideways, okay? If you've um, calibrated it properly, it will go sideways and it will auto rotate. However, this has not been done, so it will not rotate. Sometimes, whenever you calibrate it and you do it wrong, it, it automatically rotates, well, that way, not this way, just um, 90 degrees, um, so that it's horizontal and it doesn't want to turn back to vertical. As, as shown here, um, that's because the calibration has been done wrong. Um, the video is already on three minutes, so I better hurry up. Okay, so if I go to um, menu again, if I go to settings, if I go to display, and now I'm going to show you keeping that auto rotate function switched on if you want it on. Go to calibration, G sensor calibration. Now, if you place the phone, it says again, please place the phone, blah blah blah. If you place it down like that on level surface parallel to the surface like that and you press the calibrate button so I'm going to press the calibrate button if it actually focuses okay it's focused yeah okay I'm going to press the calibrate button ready it's, it's on the level surface I can assure you this surface is level okay here goes calibrate okay as you can see the little bubbles are calibrated like that it is calibrated, okay? This is the correct way of doing it. Placing it flat <coughs> so that the back or the bottom faces the surface. Not sideways, you know how normal levelers are like where you place them sideways. Um, normal leveler, um, do not do that because it will not work, okay? It's calibrated like that. 
So if I it's calibrated now. So if I go out, keeping that thing ticked on, if I go to internet, it will auto rotate. There you go, it's auto rotated, okay? There you go, test now. It's auto rate, okay? There you go, there you go, perfectly. Works perfectly, okay? That is the correct way of doing it. If you go to messages, now I'll show you this is the way it should be. If I go like that, it will say tap to compose, okay? If I turn it that way, it will turn that way. Uh, if I turn it that way, it will turn that way, okay? It works, okay? This is the proper way of calibrating your HTC, HTC phone, sorry. Um, and I know loads of people are having trouble with it, um, but I had to make this video just so that people who are in my situation or were in my situation um, had trouble with the calibration, they could try this out because I, this might help solve it. Um, it's very useful because the instructions are not clear and I had to research it and I was told, well, I found out that you had to face the phone like that and not on its side. Like, a, like you would with a normal leveler um, for it to work properly and that's basically it so that is how to calibrate the HTC G sensor calibration on your HTC phone um, thank you for watching and thank you for actually listening um, goodbye and have fun HTCing see you later